How are you? Welcome to the show. My name is Trevor Moore, and uh, here with me tonight is uh, my co-host, Blair Saki. How are you? Hi, Trevor. Great to see you. Great to so good to be back. Yeah, this is going to be a fun show. I'm excited. Yeah, this is a good and one. And nervous. And nervous. Yeah. That's a good, gets good. Right. It, it's not good to not be nervous before a show. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Uh, Sam Brown, hey. our other co-host. Sam Brown, are you nervous? I'm nervous too. Don't leave me out of this nervous train. Even though we got you got pegged on a previous show. I, I got a, a, a prostate exam. It was, oh, I'm it sorry. I thought you pegged. got pegged. Peg prostate exam. I forget so much stuff. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Uh, well, that leads us nicely into today's subject, which is our question of the day. On this show, we always bring up a topic for the show. It's a, a big question, and we delve into it. And uh, we we figure it out. And today's question mm. is weird relationships. Okay. <laughs> what a question! That's yeah. the age old question. Yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> weird relationships. Whoa, freaky yeah. dicky. Uh, you, you have to do a question, huh? Right? <laughs> yeah. Like I don't think any of these have been a question. Uh, yeah. What? Uh, have you ever known anyone in a uh, in a, a bizarre relationship? I mean, yeah, a lot of my friends like to uh, fuck weird dudes or whatever but um you know i'd say the main one that stuck out to me was when we met um the furry on the past episode that was oh, pretty yeah. wild that was probably the weirdest uh relationship that i ever met but but <laughs> yeah. I th- we might top it today we have uh yeah this this whole episode's about these relationships yeah so, yeah let me bring in our our comedian guests um uh, this next uh, person very funny uh you should uh, check her out on instagram tiktok Twitter, all of her social media accounts. I think she's one of the funniest people on a social media. So funny. Grace Kulenschmidt. Grace. Hello. Hi, Hi guys. Hey. How are you? I'm good. I'm so excited to be here and get to the bottom of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up with weird relationships? You know, I think that's what I hope to leave here today with is kind of a one sentence answer. <laughs> I thought you were hoping to, to leave with a weird relationship. No, not that. <laughs> Definitely not. That's, uh, I mean, the weirdest one I ever saw uh, was I went to a dinner. There was a couple at the dinner. And the mm-hmm. guy's wife just was dunking on him the whole time, Whoa. like just roasting him, like you know. And, okay, Mrs. Dalloway. Yeah, and she was, but it was like mean spirited, where she was right. kind of like, "Doesn't my husband <laughs> suck like that?" And like you know, <laughs> Trevor, and, I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> but me, like I, I, I mean, I think it's a, probably a flaw to myself. Like if someone's like dunking on somebody, I like join in. Like, oh, you know, really? it's kind of, I guess, a bully mentality. But, yeah. like, I'm like, yeah, I want to, like, uh, uh, you know, I don't want her to roast me. So then I'm, like, making fun of this dude I don't know either. And it's just. Uh, it was... Or you didn't want to make the bully uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. That's a weird relationship. Yeah. 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 So now we've got a segment here. This is a, a segment that we're going to get to the bottom of. This is going to be great. We're all going to find out about this. And that is, what's it like to be with a sex doll? Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Now, is it creepier to have sex with a full doll or just like when it's like a chunk of a person? Like, you know, when they <laughs> sell like the torso, they're like, here's just an ass. Like, but because I then, think you need to do the whole thing. Do I'm the whole going, thing. if yeah. you're going doll, you need a full body. You can't just be fucking appendages. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> because right. then what if you get into that and you're just like, I don't I don't want a, a, a significant other. I just want to, I just want a chunk of ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're on a slippery slope there, pal. <laughs> you say that, but for $78.88 on Amazon, you can get just an ass sticking out at See, you. I worry. Oh, here we go, Sam. Every show. Yeah. Oh every my show God. he goes down some path. So what's it like to be with a sex doll? We're going to meet our our, our our guest, Hank Gowdy. Hank, can you hear me? Hank. Yes, Trevor. Can you hear me clearly? I can hear you. Great. Uh, now, Hank, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. And you, you have a friend there, I see, who uh, <laughs> seems to be mid-note. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Mid-note. I'd like everybody on the show to uh, meet Betty. Betty? Okay. Who looks, yeah, Betty, who looks like a Tim Burton character, I guess. She does, um, kind of. Uh, and so, Hank, you have never uh, had intimate relationships with a sex doll. 
Nope, just me and the old right hand, occasionally an affair with the left. <laughs> I am going to experience it for the first time here on the air today. Sorry, yes. Dad. We're making dreams come true here. Okay, so this is wow. of your own volition, correct? Yeah. You can Under be on the show. You can be on the show uh, no matter what, but you. Uh, it's, this is all <laughs> of, under your own volition. Uh, this is your choice to be on the yes. show, correct? <laughs> yes, Trevor. I'm, I'm, I'm all in, Trevor. Great. Uh, before I run off, I'll have you know that I have inspected it, and the throat of Betty, there is a uh, ridged throat. It's uh, textured. Oh. Uh, so Men I'm... are not well. <laughs> <laughs> so... So uh, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go on with the show. Uh, Hank, I think you're going to go spend some time with uh, Betty, and yes. then we will check in with you later on in the show. Uh, and did she come with that sort of uh, detective overcoat? No, uh, it belongs to my great-grandfather. Oh, oh. That's nice. Uh, that I mean, you are you're weird. not going to keep your great grandfather's coat on her while you're uh, hanging out with her, are you? I mean, look, there, like you said, there's a community for everything. A face like Megan Fox <laughs> and a sm slight smell of poppy. <laughs> <laughs> no performance anxiety now. Uh, <laughs> Megan Fox yodeling. All right. Well, Hank, uh, thank you so much for being on the show. We're going to check in with you later. Go uh, have some fun, and we will uh, talk to you at the end. I'll see you soon, Trev. Thanks, Hank. Good luck. Godspeed. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's, so we got a guy who's, wow. this is going to be a first. <laughs> this is like one. Yeah, you know, as weird as I think sex dolls are, you know, it's pretty weird that people jack off to like thoughts of other people. Like what's weirder? Se sex dolls. Yeah. Sex yeah, dolls. I'm yeah, go, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm also dolls. going sex doll. Well, you know, well, but here's the thing. It's like, uh, I don't think anybody thinks that like uh, somebody using like a, a dildo is weird. Or like a vibrator, like true. And wouldn't a dildo just be kind of a part of a sex doll? Exactly. Like, so I'm saying, like, like that's a that's a chopped, a dismembered, right? Dick. Dismembered. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like uh, it is creepier than it be a, a doll. Yeah. Now the that we're getting into the philosophy of it, <laughs> I mean, wall. Yeah. What does Socrates say about this? <laughs> so for thirty bucks on Amazon, uh -huh. you can buy like this part of a mouth going like. <laughs> just this just part. the mouth just that part by the way grace i want to point out like sam's job on this show is to look up stuff on this computer this is our mm -hmm. fifth episode and he's never fucking done it once like, yeah. and, and, like as soon as we start look talking at him getting to work today yeah as soon as we're talking about sex toys he's just like a worker me all of a sudden yeah, yeah. wow i love it really in the salt mines today sam he's like he's like hey for like 20 bucks you can just get feet <laughs> You can get feet. <laughs> Sam talks about feet every episode. Uh, all right. Well, let's um, let's let's keep delving into um, atypical relationships. Right, right, right. Uh, let's broaden our horizons a little bit. We have a thruple that's uh, here to talk to us. An actual thruple. Uh, Michelle, JD, and Champagne. Let's meet them. Hi. Whoa. How are you guys? I didn't know they had model thruples. Yeah, I mean, that's a very good point. <laughs> you guys are a, are a very attractive uh, thruple. Uh, most of the times when you see thruples, uh, that's not the case, I would. Uh, I mean, I guess most of the time you see any relationship, it's not the case. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's would, always like one out of two or zero out of two. Yeah, I always feel like whenever yeah. someone's doing a thruple, it's because they don't got a lot to work with, right. so they got to spice it up some way. But yeah. you guys, you guys, you guys are uh, a, the poster people a for a thruple. I I would disagree with that. I would think that a lot of thruples are like two sexy people and they find a third sexy person and they're like, why not? Wow. I don't yeah. think so. That's That's right. about I'm getting a thing in my ear saying it. Sam seems creepy in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I literally did. I'm not making that up. As opposed I to, so like, as opposed to they give me that as a note, like I'm supposed to do something about it. Like this producer goes, Sam's kind of creepy in this episode. And I'm like, what the fuck am I saying? Sam's feelings are hurt. The only thing I can do is bring it up on the air and make him feel self conscious. Yeah, you woke oh. up a few intimate sexual appendages and now I'm getting called creepy. Like, you guys are complaining that I'm not looking stuff up. I'm, I'm not, not complaining. Stuff up, I'm just telling you. I'm creepy. I was just given info and I didn't know what to do with You're it. You're doing great. Back to the models. Okay. Uh, Sorry about Sam. <laughs> oh. So how long have you guys been a thruple? 
We've been in a bubble for a few months now. Yeah, three, four, something like that. Something like that. Three, four months? We no. lost count. We lost count. But... Oh, my God. Wow. You lost count at three. That's, that's, uh... <laughs> yeah. We <laughs> add up to three, and that's enough. Yeah, once we get to three, we stop. <laughs> now, how did you guys uh, meet? Did, were two of you in a relationship before the third, or did you all just happen to meet at the same time? Like, how, how did it go down time-wise, uh, timeline-wise? So, uh, JD and myself, we've been together for three years Okay. and we knew early on in our relationship that we wanted a polyamorous relationship. We had to hit up online apps and do the online dating and Hey, we got our girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now, that's uh, so cool. That's fantastic. That, that, I am, I'm literally mesmerized right now. Yeah. Blair has never been so silent in an episode. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have to be so emotionally mature to a level that I can't even fathom um, to be able to, like, make all that work. Like, what if you're just only getting along with one person and not the other? Like, how does the whole thing go around? Like, we're all really confident in our space, and we all want this. Yeah. We all want each other. Like, we both want, like, the woman-to-female ratio. And having the same end goal, I think, yeah. helps, too. So when we get into situations where... There may be a tad bit of friction. Instead of arguing or, or prolonging the issue, let's go ahead and communicate. Yeah, we talk let's, a lot. Yes, we create Ooh, that we safe talk. space. Yeah. Oh my God, this is too mature. I don't even. So, so how 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 big is the bed? <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody. Yeah, I know, right? Everybody has a queen size bed, and we thought that was good until we just went to our recent like vacation last week, mm -hmm. and our Airbnb had a California king bed. Oh, we did not, we were, we love to cuddle. This California king bed, we had our own sections that were just like, don't touch us. <laughs> don't touch each other. Whoa. <laughs> now, are there like, are there like rules like with like a jealousy thing? Like, uh, like say one person isn't there and two people are like, oh, I kind of feel uh, 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 frisky. Like, uh, do you have to call like the third person and be like, hey, we're gonna, we might do this right now. Is that cool? Or do you have to keep everybody up to date or does do all three people have to be there? We've had hiccups on that, but at this point, we don't, it's not a permission thing. Mm -hmm. Like, we all individually, like, have sex with each other individually if we want. Yeah. So it could be me and her, him and, you know, they've already been doing it way before I came in, too, so I can't be like, don't do that. Right. right. And we just yeah. talk about it. It's just like, hey, I'm not in the mood. Okay, yeah. cool. But that's not going to stop me from y'all getting it in. Right. I feel like you guys can solve world peace. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, ta I've never talked that much Definitely. in a relationship in my life. Yeah. Talking the, the, the communication to sex ratio, you, it, people would be surprised. There's a lot more communication going yeah, it sex, than it is sex. sex. Yeah. <laughs> but it keeps it interesting. Spicy. Yeah. I was going to say, was the first date like the hottest thing ever? <laughs> we didn't have sex for a while, though. Honestly, when I, when I met them, they were on a detox. So we weren't drinking or anything like that. Wait, wait, or at wait. least like when... Like, Three weeks. You guys have longer. had you guys have had sex sober. <laughs> yeah. That's weirder to me than the whole throuple thing. <laughs> I've, I've... Yeah, like when I first saw them, I was like, "Holy shit!" And yeah. now I'm just getting progressively more terrified. Yeah, they're like, "Yeah, we just talk, talk, oh. talk, 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 talk." Well, these people are, are so hot; they're fucking having sex sober. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. It's crazy. You guys are fucking freaks. Yeah. <laughs> Um, thank you guys so much. It's uh, it's great meeting you guys. You guys seem uh, very happy and uh, incredibly attractive. So congrats on yeah, all that. Mystifying, yeah. honestly. God bless. Good job, you guys. Yeah, you guys must have been great people in another life yeah, because no it seems shit. like reincarnation has done great for you. You're uh, having uh, you know multiple Hell sex yeah. partners Hell sober. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Toodaloo. Have a good one. Oh my wow. god, that can't be fucking real. I've never heard anything like They're that in my so life. so hot. I feel yeah. real shitty about myself Me right too. now. Me too. Is everybody else? Me too, I'm mm -hmm. like, I have some work, a lot of work to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, might, I might get a gym. Yeah. I, I might, uh... They were looking at us like, what are they? <laughs> yeah, why do they look like that? I've yeah. never seen such average looking people. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got to move on. There's more relationships to discover. Uh, our next one is a guy named Knots who has a waifu. 
Gra- uh, what's a waifu? What's a waifu? Grace, do you know what a waifu is? No, yeah, I do I, not. I have no fucking clue. Let's find out. Let's meet Knots. Knots, how are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you? Nice. Uh, we're doing good. Nice to meet you. Now, explain to us what a waifu is. You are in a relationship with a waifu. Uh, correct. So a waifu is essentially a character from an anime or a video game or a cartoon or essentially anyone who's fictional who um, you become deeply infatuated with and may perhaps even fall in love with, and then you start a relationship with them. Okay, so now now this is, is this your waifu on, on your pillow right here? Yeah, uh, her name is Himari from an anime called Penguin Drum. From um, Pe- Penguin Room? Penguin Drum. Penguin Drum. Penguin Drum. <laughs> okay, and uh, I see you have a, a COVID-19 mask on her. That's very responsible. Yes. Yeah. But I also see that you're not wearing one yourself. You've only got one on the uh, inanimate person. <laughs> I, I do have an explanation. Um, because she comes from like sort of a virtual world, and since we're talking virtually, she wanted to make sure that she didn't catch it from any of you. Interesting. Wow, incredible <laughs> plot continuity. That's good. Uh, walk me through because I've I've never I've never met anyone uh, in a relationship with a waifu before. So walk me through. How did you realize? Uh, what age did you realize that you were um, attracted to uh, like cartoon characters? And then when when did you realize like oh my god I need to be into a relationship with this specific character? And what was it about this character? Right. Okay. So. I first realized that I was kind of, um, another word for being attracted to fictional characters, some people call it fictoromance or fictophilia. Um, that's kind of just another word for waifuism. And eventually I watched Imari's anime when I was around 17 or so, and I just thought that she was really cute and adorable in the show. She has a lot of, like, positive features, you know, she's a really good cook, she's really kind, she's, uh, she's really cool. Great. Uh-huh. And so she's really nice and she cooks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like I love Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so when you now do he Maria and you uh, uh, go out, can you go on dates or is it not about that? Like uh, um, if we do have dates, it's usually indoors. Uh, we actually made a sort of um, a vlogging series on YouTube called Waifu Adventures where I did some stuff with her outside. We like went for a walk. But most of the time we stay indoors. I am aware that the, uh, you know, the so- societal perception of waifuism isn't exactly great. So I mostly keep it to myself and the YouTube stuff. Now, do, do you people- fuck that pillow? <laughs> I do not. There are some waifuists who do uh, have do that with their pillows, but uh, not me. Is, does your relationship get to an intimate level at all? And if so, how is that accomplished? Um, <clears throat> it's mostly just. Uh, Cuddling, going on <laughs> cute dates indoors, uh, stuff like that. Okay. Okay. You have a, you got a little bit of, you, you got, a, there you go. You had a little bit of a milk on your mustache. That was, um, thank uh, you. At what point did you get the pillow? Or is it called a pillow? Uh, yeah, you can call it a pillow. At, at what point did you get it and how many do you have? Uh, just the one. Um, I got her in, well, I ordered her in December of 2018 and then the, uh, the shipping was a little bit slow. So she didn't show up until March of 2019. Now, uh, divorce rates through the roof, you know, um, and some people are doing fine. Some people are not. How is your relationship? Has quarantine made it stronger? Has it made it, uh, you know, more difficult? Uh, we did go through a bit of a rough spot a few months ago where we actually broke up and then got back together. But other than that, um, did she burn the meatloaf? Really <laughs> Whose fault was no, it? No. Whose fault was the breakup? Uh, it was mine. I accidentally developed feelings for a different character a little bit. Oh. And, uh, Been there, pal. She didn't like that. Same cartoon or anime? Uh, no, a different one. Oh. Uh, is it, I mean, I don't want to bring, it, I, I don't want to bring this up if this is a, t- uh, I, I don't know how, where she is with this now, if this is a uh, sensitive subject, but well, what was the character? Uh, she was a Vocaloid named um, Megarine. Uh, a Vocaloid is basically an uh, anime girl who is known for like singing. Um, right. So basically just a pop star. Musicians are hot. Got it. Yeah. I, I, I realize when I asked that, I don't know why I asked it because I don't know many of those characters. Yeah. I guess I was hoping that you were going to be like Scooby Doo or something like yeah. that. And I'd be like, oh, I know that one. Like, you know, <laughs> and for and for our viewers who may have experienced um, infidelity, how were you able to sort of build that uh, bridge of trust back? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, just proving to her that I no longer had feelings for the Vocaloid. Um, it helped a little bit that. Uh, I didn't develop feelings for any other characters in her show because 
But to draw an analogy to real relationships, that might be like, you know, developing a crush on your girlfriend's friend. Right. Um, because at that mm-hmm. point, it's more personal. But um, I never actually did anything with the other character. But uh, I've heard all this before. How how does this compare to have you um, have you had a relationship with a, a non 2D person? Um, if so. How does this compare to that, and would you ever go back to that, or is this is this your thing? Um, I haven't ever found myself extremely attracted to 3D people, so I haven't been in that relationship. So okay. I'd say this is just kind of my thing. Okay. If, if something happened to, to this specific uh, pillow, uh, how would you feel about buying a new one? Um, I would be okay with that. If this pillow, like, uh, or if this pillow cover ripped or anything like that that wouldn't like equate to death or anything yeah in waifuism we kind of view it as like their soul is replaceable and can be put into different pillow covers yeah. it's kind of a see odd, dudes are still dudes yeah, like, yeah their <laughs> soul is replaceable <laughs> like, i'll get a younger pillow oh my god Trey, that <laughs> I mean, one, not, yeah you know i love her but if Another something happened to her i mean i'll fucking live <laughs> Um, well, thank you so much for being on the show. I- I'm glad you're you're in a happy relationship, and uh, you know you seem like a great dude. So thank you so much for yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks, broadening man. our horizons yeah. a little bit. Yep. Bye. So now, 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 how do we feel? Yeah, I feel like when I asked him if he fucked that pillow, it came out really hot. It got so quiet when I said it, and it came out. It sounded mm-hmm. so hard. You know, yeah. I was like, oh, I wish I yeah. said it in like a softer tone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like in like 50, 60 years, if that becomes commonplace, uh, they'll do like a movie and you're like the old, like, yeah, bigger. Like, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, God. fuck that pillow. Literally. Yeah. You're like the senator who's like dabbing his head with a yeah, handkerchief. Yeah, I know. Like, That's how I feel right now. I'm really sorry. So Although, you in love with a pillow? <laughs> yeah. Even though, even though his um, wife pillow was like his domestic servant, we kept just like, you know, tiptoeing around that. You were like, what do you? like about her and he's like well she uh she doesn't really uh pop off too much and she has my dinner ready <laughs> she's uh she washes cars in short shorts yeah. uh, she's not too yeah. curious my broad she doesn't talk back <laughs> doesn't give me any lip just how i like them god we're learning so much grace what were your thoughts on that yeah, my thoughts were I really would love, I would love to hear from her. I would love to hear her thoughts. <laughs> yeah. And as a woman, it was really hard to hear that he had feelings for another girl. And, you know, I was mad at him for sure. I was too. He was <laughs> very <laughs> casual about that infidelity. He also really just talked over her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of uh, human splaining going on. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. It never ends. Yeah, I mean, oh, by the way, we're not making fun of anybody. Like, this is, you know... Whatever, whatever gets you through this cold, horrible, uh, you know, slaughterhouse of a life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, whatever is going to, mm-hmm. you know, give you some sort of happiness, by all means, good God, go fucking do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, speaking of which, let's talk to our guy who uh, was going to be with a sex doll, Hank Gowdy. Hey, Trevor. Hey, how are you? You, what, so, I'm accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> wow. okay. All right. Well, All right. I, mean, I wish I had a bell to ring. So, <laughs> wow. Um, you look like a million bucks. You look, you look, you're you look, glowing. <laughs> you look lighter. Yeah. You are glowing. So what was the experience like? I mean, you're the only one of us who's ever uh, been with one of these uh, sex dolls that's taking the country by storm. So walk, uh, walk us through. Was it, was it good? One out of 10. Uh, one out of 10 on just like an objective scale, I'd give it like a, geez, maybe like, if I'm being generous, a six. Okay. Um, man, I, uh, I tried the, I tried it all. I did the whole nine yards, the insertable, uh, vagina, the, uh, anus. And then I lathered up the mouth and, uh, not to be, if you know what I mean, throat fucked it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Okay. What do you mean? Uh, I, I don't get I, this code. No. Grace, do you know that you euphemism? Mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Pardon my French. Yeah, that's the I first face time I've heard that term. <laughs> wow. Wow. The young people today. Uh, uh, the only difference uh, in feeling uh, from a guy's perspective between uh, Betty here and an actual blowjob from a biological human being um, was the uh, climate. Uh, 
Maybe if I had warmed up my lube, I don't know, but uh, oh, a little it, micro, seemed, it seemed like it was getting, I was getting blown in an igloo or something. I don't know. That was the only difference? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only uh, difference? The difference? Uh, I, I got a question. Uh, um, what what was the the packaging like? Like, did it not look like a sex doll when it came to you? Like, Sam's question um, is like, what was the packaging like? It doesn't say sex doll on it when it shows up at your house, yeah. right? Because yeah. he's got Amazon. Yeah, where'd you like, order it from? He's like, you know how Amazon has those lockers down at Seven Eleven? Could they will it deliver there? You do I have to have it? Weirdos now, do they? <laughs> Yeah, to, Sam, to answer your question, no, it's very discreet packaging uh, for your own interest. Now, do you think you're going to try it one more time before you get rid of it, or is it, or it's done? One and done. Pump and dump. One and done, baby. I, uh, I'm probably going to honestly, honest answer, so I don't come off like a serial killer. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to deflate it and then throw it out and probably get catch all of the scorn of every garbage man in my neighborhood. You know what would be funny? Mm -hmm. What? Uh, goodwill. <laughs> that would be great I yeah would, you, you get know. a buddy to walk behind you and record it and you drop it off at goodwill you got a million you got a million view tiktok right there i guarantee it that would be the first thing goodwill's ever said no to <laughs> <laughs> they would be like not on our watch <laughs> trevor i'll also add that after i uh completed myself in the mouth and uh mm -hmm. i used my, my my well i'm sorry for the coarse language but you know <laughs> Uh, I I uh, used my roommate's toothbrush to clean it before I got what? back on it. What really? Yeah, I don't. I, should I tell him that I that it's that it's got Betty's throat lozenge in it, or should I just let him use it? Uh I don't know. I'm torn. Well, the one is a good thing to do. The other is. Uh, yeah, oh, the other horrible. the other one would suck and be awful. So I don't know. Which one. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you should probably That's tell. That's always the hardest decision yeah. when it's obvious. <laughs> Uh, all right, well... Uh, <laughs> you seem like a nice guy, Hank. Yeah, Hank Gowdy, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for volunteering to do this. Uh, you were yeah. you were great. And, uh, yeah, um, you know, you. it sounds like it's not going to work out between you two, but, you know, if it does, we just talked to a guy who seems very happy in, in a similar situation. <laughs> yeah, so. that's what dating right. is. Okay, yeah. guys, thanks for all the laughs. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you, Hank. Yeah. Hank. Thank you so much. Thanks, Bye. Hank. Well... Well, wow. my God, we've learned a lot today. Holy this is the shit. end of the show. My um, virgin years. Yeah. Whoa. Final thoughts. Yeah. What did we learn, Grace? Final thoughts are this show needs to be shown in schools everywhere for success. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we'll get there. That's our goal. I certainly learned a lot. I actually truly learned so much. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, that's stuff I needed to know. <laughs> I'm not sure I agree, but yeah, it was a lot. I've never seen such hot people, such disturbing people, like all together in one thing, you know? But you know what? Didn't everyone sort of seem happy? They did, yeah. yeah. That's a good point, yeah. Yeah. honestly. You know, some people out there find love in, uh, in, in dolls. Some people are able to find love with just tons of hot people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 uh, we learned a lot. You know, it just, to me, it just seems like, uh, you know, whatever makes you, you know, whatever gets you through the night, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go home <laughs> yeah. and pray love after love. this. Yep, love is love, yeah. and just uh, <laughs> try to make yourself happy in this fucking nightmare that we're all stuck in. Yeah, thank you, Trevor. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Grace, thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, I'm uh, again huge fan thank of your you social media. Everyone should check Thanks out so uh, Grace. She's so hilarious. Great to see you. Great to meet you all. This was so fun. Are we all fucking tonight or what? <laughs> yeah. 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 We'll show them how normal people just... <laughs> yeah. A normal person quadruple. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I also want to thank everybody who, uh, uh, all of our couples and yeah. our people who signed in. And, and Hamari. It's so brave of them. Yeah. Was, yeah, yeah it's really mm -hmm. brave. Sorry about the pillow question. <laughs> uh, Blair, Sam, thank you again, hey. as thank always. You, thank you, That's our show. Thanks for watching again. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.